just your average day in London. <laughs> That's yeah. why I don't vlog in public. Ooh. Right, let's do the unboxing, guys. Hello, friends. Welcome to the London vlog. It's been a while since we've done a London vlog, true? Since a very long time. Okay. It feels like a very long time, and you guys have been asking for these vlogs. We've been traveling a lot, and then obviously trying to keep up with content, which is why we've done a lot of the travel vlogs, but we plan to be in London for a while now. We've got lots of work to do in the year. This is the Q4 period, which is like it's the busiest time. So we plan to be in London. I'm wearing red lipstick, which isn't like me on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's because we were filming some content, some festive content at home. We are on our way to a little staycation in London. We're on a we're going on a trip with Nespresso. So they said they've got this exciting launch. We don't know anything about it, but it's gonna be revealed tonight. So we're going to BAFTA and we're gonna have dinner there and then that's where I think they're gonna unveil the surprise. Exciting. Um, I think it's a new machine. Do you think it's a new machine? Maybe. I think it's a collaboration. Oh yeah. But then they always do collaborations. Like Nespresso X something. We're going on this little staycation with Nespresso, which is amazing because we use our Nespresso machine like almost every day. Yeah. I bought you I bought the first machine for True's like birthday like a couple of years ago and then we worked with them earlier this year and they sent us another machine but we use both machines like yeah, because they have they're different. Yeah, different pods. Yeah. yeah and they have different pods and like sometimes we prefer that coffee and sometimes we prefer that coffee. But yeah we're huge fans of Nespresso so this is very exciting for us. And also the hotel we're staying at is Hotel Cafe Royal. And that hotel is like the most beautiful hotel. I've never stayed there, but I've been there once for my birthday dinner and then I've been to a couple of events and I've always wanted to stay at that hotel. So I'm excited to be staying there. Thought we'd bring you guys along. What a nice way to start the London vlogs with a little hotel staycation. Yeah. Um, gonna get ready with me. It says the dress code is a touch of glamour. Okay. Which I, I really struggle with dress codes. You know when they, I get invites and it has a dress code, I really touch struggle. Of yeah, a touch That's of glamour. Like all black with some sparkles so i'm wearing a black dress with i'm gonna keep my red lip on um just i'm gonna wear a black dress but it is a glamorous black dress not too glamorous no do you think that's a good dress to wear too yeah i think so and then what are you gonna wear? did you bring the product yeah okay i'm gonna wear what i wore in the doha after party yeah it's a black t-shirt prada jacket yeah done easy yeah. this hotel is literally on regent street yeah, like, it is like on the same streets as the shops. Yeah, maybe we can go for like a little shop, a little shop, a little shop. Can we if we have time, we have time. Yeah, I'm sure we will. But yeah, that's what we're doing, guys. Welcome to the vlog. We'll catch up in the hotel. We're almost there. We'll do a little hotel room tour, and then oh, I've got a really exciting haul for you guys. I've bought some new pieces, and I have a huge designer discount code, like the biggest designer discount code I've ever had, forty percent off. Forty. Yeah. 40. For men's as well. Yeah. Oh. I when I found out. When my manager gave me the discount code, I was I went straight onto the app and started shopping. Because <laughs> 40% off, I've never had a discount that big. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys when we get to the hotel what I have. And then I'm going to share the discount code with you, which means you get 40% off designer things, guys. It's not a drill. This is for real. <laughs> Go wrap. Yeah, we'll see you in the hotel. Just your average day in London. <laughs> I'm going to see if he can actually stay up right for the whole duration of the red light. Yeah, how does he Ooh, do it? He's struggling. He's gonna do it. There's a lot of pressure. There's people recording Everyone's him. Everyone's watching him as well. <laughs> Everyone's recording him. Oh no! Is he gonna do it? Oh, he's getting unstable. Okay. He's just gonna drive off. Okay, very typical. Cyclist. Even though it's a red light. Cyclists in London. Biggest asset of any business. Oh my goodness. I think it's too early. Is it too early? Is it too early? Was it November what? 14th. It's too early. No, I don't think it's too early, true. Because if you put up in December, there's only 25 dates and you don't get to really enjoy it and people are out now doing Christmas shopping, so I think it's so a nice time. is it too time. early to start playing Christmas music? I think now is a good time for Christmas oh, stuff. Really? I love it. Yeah. Oh, it looks so pretty. I think London do the best Christmas lights. So the hotel, guys, is literally like there. Yeah. How, like, it's the perfect place to have a hotel. Especially if you're a tourist, like this would be perfect because you're right next to all of the hot spots. Yeah. We're in Piccadilly. Literally like five minutes away from Chinatown, just down there. You've got Oxford Street, Regent, got Street, Regent Street, Bond Street. Street. 
Yeah. All the shopping. Pretty sure you can walk to Selfridges as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really nice spot. I'm really excited to be staying here. I wonder what room we have. Yeah. Do a proper room tour. Yeah, we'll do a room tour. We've arrived. Those are my Louisa Viroma stuff, guys, that I'm going to unbox with you guys. Thank you. Ooh, stuck in there. I love this hotel. How nice is it? Yeah, it's really it's nice. It's gorgeous. I think you came here once for a facial. Yeah, I did. And I think I vlogged it as well. Yeah, yeah very shaky. I, I do remember. It's very shaky. Okay. Footage, but I'm, I'm here, guys. <laughs> We're going to get, get that stable footage. Mm. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is giving me Japanese vibes. The walls. <gasps> oh wow. Ooh. This is oh my god, it's massive. <gasps> <Check it. gasps> oh did they give me one as well? Yeah, look. <laughs> and it's not Tina. I'm drooling. <laughs> that is so cute. I wanna unbox it right now. Wait, let's do it. Wait, let's <laughs> Let's do a room tour. This is what we drove into, the road. Yeah. So that's literally Regent Street right there. All right, should we do a quick room tour? Can you talk us through what's in this room? Okay, let's walk in first. This is amazing. Right, so you walk in, and this is the space. Yeah. So you have a four-lap mirror here, which I really appreciate in a hotel room. Then we walk into a bathroom. Wow. And they have Diptyque toiletries. This is going straight in my hand. <laughs> I, guys, sorry. I don't know how much like I get gifted by brands. I always get so happy when I see like toiletries and I always take them because they're really handy for my traveling and you need miniature versions. And True always cusses me when I do it, but he always uses the products that yep. I take. So. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I haven't cussed you in a while. Diptyque shower gel and then i really like this bath setup yeah it's really nice this is inspirational so this is the shower i'm definitely you know, gonna book this hotel in the future for like you know when we need content hotels yeah you know what this reminds me of like a hammam bath vibe like a spa oh wait they've given us you forgot to show them espresso pods wait an espresso is nespresso nespresso machine wait, wait. who we are here with Look at that. This is the Ooh. coffee machine we have. It's different yeah. to this, but these are the pods that so we can take this home with us. Yeah, we're gonna take that home. Oh. This is going this straight is in my basket. Then we come into the living room the, and the bedroom. Look how thick it is. It's massive. Wait, it. can you stand all the way to the end for reference of how big this room is? That's Niri right there. She's tiny. Should we unbox that now? Wait, no, because I need to can you, I need to do a video. Right, Let's so unbox the one of these. Let's celebrate and I forget what else near you. Nespresso is welcome to be photo. No, so that's oh, that's the event. So yeah, so we're peacefully meet with Buffalo with a five minute walk from the hotel. Okay. That's the invitation. Should we unbox this? This is exciting. Yeah. Is it heavy? Is it, is it a machine? <laughs> I'm not a oh, nice, no, unruffy person. <laughs> I just like to get straight to the gifts. <gasps> oh, pajamas! Oh, it's personalized pajamas. Wait, oh, I literally as we were packing today for the um, trip. Didn't I say how I want to get more like pajamas? What does that say? N A. N A. Sorry, my initials. And they asked me if I wanted my because I knew I was engaged. If I want new initials and no, an espresso. Got an espresso. <laughs> And then we've got the matching pants. Maybe they're doing a collaboration with John Lewis. I don't think so. Okay, let's do that. Oh. Oh, there's more. We already have this and we use this so much. The barista thing. I bought my shaker. sister this as well. 
Did you? Yeah, and she bought herself one by accident. So we actually have four we have now. <laughs> some milk chocolate, salted caramel. This is a hot. This is for the hot flask, right? Travel mug, yeah. And then we've got the coffee. That's more coffee. Is that more coffee? Oh yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah. Good. And then what's, what's that one? this? What's this? Let's see. Oh, two espresso cups. Ooh, perfect. Ooh. I want to see this one, the nude mug. Was that like a glass? I don't know. Let me see. The nude collection. Oh no, it's actually nude. Oh wow. Ooh, that's, that's very nice. aesthetic. That's nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Fits in with the room. Yeah. Should we open the um, espresso cups as well? Let's see. Yeah. Might as well. Might as well. This, um, the barista shaker is really good for iced coffees. We love it. Yeah, highly recommend for summer. Okay, let's see the espresso cup. I'm really not great at opening these beautifully. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, wow. Wait. You love, you're going to love this. This is your vibe. That is sick. So nice. It's kind of like... Japanese. Japanese, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. is. It's really cool. You can have your espresso. There's two in there. Do you think you have the same thing in yours? Yeah, well, I'll, we're going to open it for Instagram first and then we're going to show you guys. Yeah. But I think it's going to be the same. You can wear matching pyjamas, True. Yeah, let's... <laughs> you can wear it tonight. <laughs> okay, so we have some time to kill because it's currently... What's the time, True? Like 5 o'clock? 4.50, yeah. Almost 5 o'clock and... The dinner's at seven, and it's a five minute walk from the hotel, which is great. And my makeup is done, so I wanted to just put my dress on, so I have some time. And I really wanna show you the things that I picked up from Luisa Veroma. I'm so excited to show you guys. I say this all the time, but a lot of times when I buy things, I always wait to show you guys on YouTube, and then I can start wearing it. So when this order came, I was literally like, oh my God, oh my God, I need to wear it. But I need to show you guys first. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got, and then also share the discount code which blowing my mind how great the discount code is but yeah i'm gonna do an unboxing and a little mini haul of what i picked up for me these are like the perfect investment pieces for your full winter wardrobe when i purchase luxury items i do try and purchase pieces that i think are investments in the sense that there's two terms for investments one is like investments that you get your money back like years later. So for example, buying the Birkin or Kelly, like the Hermes bag, they're investments because you get a return on your money. But then the other investment that I talk about a lot is an investment in the sense that you get to wear it a lot, you use the item a lot. And I think a lot of the times when I mention an investment for your wardrobe, I'm talking about that investment, the investment where you get your cost per wear. For example, my Kate cardigan that you guys see me wear nonstop. This is the perfect investment piece for my wardrobe. I wear these cardigans so much the cost per wear is like 1p um so yeah that's what i mean so the pieces that i picked up they're here the guy kindly bought them up these are what i would consider investments for my wardrobe and i'm gonna talk you through them okay true could you kindly carry the things to me i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna sit on this cozy bed it's calling my name and i'm gonna do the unboxing here thank you Right, let's do the unboxing, guys. First of all, if I show you these things, I'm gonna show the discount code with you that I've been banging on about. The discount code is for Luisa Veroma. It's worldwide, and the discount code is KCP40. I'll put it on the screen, I'll put it in the description box down below, and it's only valid until, I wanna get this right for you guys. It's valid until the 24th of November, 12 o'clock. So, you need to use the discount code ASAP if you do want to get the most of it. It's for 40% off um, full price items on the website. If you go onto the website, you'll see if there's a star on the item, it means that the discount doesn't apply on that. But there are so many items that it does apply on. Some that I've purchased and some that I'm going to purchase. Like when I got the discount code, I straight away went into the app and I've started adding things to my basket. So I also want to mention some of those things because I think the discount code is just unreal and I've never had a discount code this big. I've never seen a discount code this big. I'm on the Luisa Veroma app, which by the way, if you don't have, you should download. It's a great app, really easy to navigate, and it's a great way to shop if you are an avid shopper like me. I've added some things to my basket already. One of my favorite brands, Kate. There are some items on there you can use my discount code on, so I'm speaking really fast because I'm excited. Let's just do the unboxing, and everything will be linked down below. So, it comes in this beautiful Luisa Veroma black box super chic first of all 
I had to get this piece because if you watched my autumn winter luxury wish list video, this was a piece that I mentioned. And then when I went to pick my selects for this video, there was a discount running on their app. So it was like a 30% discount, which I could use on this purchase. So I got this Kate cardigan for 30% off. It's the Lucy cardigan. So the one that I wear is called the Scarlet. So I have this one in the black, the camel color and the navy. And then I had mentioned in my wish list video that I wanted the, uh, the Kate Lucy cardigan because it's a similar style in that it has these beautiful big sleeves. It's 100% cashmere but it's slightly longer and I wanted a longer line cardigan and it has more buttons. So I'll do a try on and show you guys what it looks like on, but I am so happy to add this to my collection. Like I literally want every single color of the Kate cardigans. I think they are the most worth it cardigan. They're expensive, but you guys will know if you watch my channel, how much I've worn my Kate cardigans on my Instagram, my YouTube, on all my platforms, you would have seen my Kate cardigans. So I had to pick this one up and I can't believe I managed to get it for 30% off. Um, if you do use my discount code, you can get 40% off selected Kate items. So if you are looking to invest in some nice knitwear pieces, I would highly recommend checking out Kate. I'm obsessed with this cardigan. The cashmere is just the softest ever. It's so thick. I always get asked if there's dupes on this cardigan and I haven't, honestly, I haven't found a dupe that is like a good dupe because there's nothing that compares these cardigans. So this is the first thing that I picked up. This is an item that I've actually had on my mind for a while now and I'm really happy I picked them up. I think for me, these are a really classic timeless piece that kind of look like a vintage piece, which I love because I don't think they're very trendy and I think I'm gonna have these forever and like have a, this is gonna be a piece that I will pass down. So. They are from Gucci, which I'm really enjoying Gucci at the moment. The dust bags, so pretty. Okay, so these are the heels. I need to cut this off. Do we have scissors in here? We're gonna have cutaways so you can see them, but I'm gonna stand up so you can, oh, maybe against my top. How beautiful are these Gucci slingback heels. They have the perfect heel height. They're not like a kitten heel. They're like a in between a kitten heel and then a high heel. They've got this square toe and they've got the GG monogram print in the brown canvas. And I am so happy to have these in my collection. I feel like they're just gonna have so much wear. They will look beautiful with jeans, then with my white pants, neutral pants. I don't have any shoes in like this beige neutral tone. A lot of my shoes are black or then you have the colors. And the only one I think of that I wear all the time are the mango mules. And these are the perfect full shoes. If you want to keep it classy, chic, it covers your toes. And they're a shoe that, although I think they're an investment for winter, Come spring, you'll still be wearing these. I just can't go over these. I think they're so beautiful. I love them. I also want the um, navy version. So I'm gonna see if I get lots of wear out of these, I would definitely be investing in the navy version because I just think they are a beautiful pair of shoes. Very classic. And I think everyone in their wardrobe needs a classic heel, but with a twist. Something that feels special. And I think for me, it's these. They just give me that vintage vibe and I know I'm just gonna wear them so much. And like it has the Gucci in the inside and then on the back it has the G, which I love. These are very the Tom Ford Gucci era heels and I'm just obsessed with them. And then next up we have this box from Paris, Texas. Now, if you don't know Paris, Texas, for me when I think about them, I think that they are the king's of knee-high boots. They do other shoes which are beautiful, but for me, when I think of Price Texas, I think of their boots. They do the best knee-high boots, and every fall and winter, knee-high boots, they're not even a trend, like knee-high boots are a staple item. And for ages now, I've wanted a white pair of knee-high boots, and when I thought about where I'd get them from, Price Texas was the first one that came in my head. And I remember for Price Fashion Week, we were shopping and we went to all the stores to try and find these boots in stock and they were sold out everywhere. And of course, Louisa Verma had them in stock. So, these are my new boots. How sexy are these? I just think these are the sexiest boots ever. 
they have this kind of faux croc detail they've got the high heel and although they're a high heel they're not uncomfortable they've got the pointed toe but not too pointy it's not like a sharp point it's a nice slightly curved point where they sit on your leg is so flattering if you are thinking about getting knee high boots you need paris texas they come in every single color you can imagine i think i also want to get a pair of the embellished ones they have these crystal boots which i'm in love with because i love the jimmy choo ones they have the we're going to set pictures jimmy choo have these crystal boots which are the wedges and they're like almost eight thousand pounds and i can't justify spending that much on those boots as much as i love them paris texas have a pair and they're around the thousand pound mark which is a lot more justifiable so they're also on my list but these are the new dishes to my wardrobe i am so happy to have them a lot of the times when i'm wearing outfits you guys know i love to wear a winter white look and i felt like i was missing a white pair of boots i had on my list for a kind of this year investment piece so i wanted to get some knee-high boots in white and i am just so happy to have these they're so well made you can just tell like when you look at the shoe how well made they are they fit amazingly they are super flattering you guys will just see me wearing these boots non-stop along with my cake cardigan along with my gucci it's basically everything because as i said for me these are investment pieces that cost per wear i know i'm going to get lots of wear out of so yeah that's what i picked up from louise for aroma as i said i do have the 40 percent discount code which is amazing because they have so many amazing brands on there their stock is amazing so definitely check it out there are times and conditions i'm going to leave everything linked down below i just want to quickly talk about some things that i have my eye on that you guys might be interested in on louise for aroma that i already added to my basket because I'm, I'm not even joking. As soon as I found out I had this discount code, I went straight onto the app. We're going to put pictures here. The Kate dress, the Scarlet dress. So I have a dupe of this dress, but the dupe doesn't even compare to the real thing. I've tried the real thing on. And the dress is £1,110 for the Kate, the Sweetheart neckline dress. But with my 40% discount code, it's £666. And I think I might be pulling the plug, it's like pulling the trigger and buying it because I wear my dupe version so much, but the dupe dress is now like basically like ripping and like it's stretched. Like the quality is obviously doesn't compare to the actual Kate. So this is in my basket. I also have the Kate leggings with the side slits. I have a pair of leggings like that that I wear to death. And of course the quality isn't as great as what Kate is. I really do love Kate's quality. So these are 720 pounds. And then with the discount, 432 pounds. I would highly recommend just having a look. So the camera cut out, it died. And then while I was waiting for it to charge up, I was trying on this cardigan and I'm obsessed. True said, this is his favorite color of all the Kate cardigans I have. Yeah, it's really nice. I think it's because you, <laughs> Because it's great, you can actually uh, see, the, see the details. Yeah, yeah the shape mainly. But yeah, so I tried this on while I was waiting. But I'm gonna, you'll see the cutaways anyway, filmed in daylight. But I'm gonna head off now. We are gonna start getting ready for the event. I'm gonna link everything down below as well as my discount code. If you do use my discount code, please let me know what you get because I'm just so excited that I have this discount code for you guys. I know you guys are gonna appreciate it too. Cruz itching to get out he's like please can we just go out even if it's for a 10 minute walk <laughs> because we are literally on the street yeah like what this location is amazing literally just walk to china you know what Ooh, we're should we get a bubble tea wait how far are we from china can we actually walk five minute walk less than five minutes i swear it's literally just there we can get bubble tea okay should we go yeah. for bubble tea guys we're gonna go get bubble tea okay i'm gonna go for... i'm gonna change my jumper because i want to film this tomorrow for the cutaways so i'm gonna put my black kit cardigan back on i'm gonna save this i do that with new things i can't wear it just for like yeah. anyway i need to have it like for a contact. special occasion well, i might wear this tomorrow though yeah okay okay we're gonna go get bubble tea i'm gonna look there's actually an espresso <laughs> just downstairs from cafe royale i think they did that on purpose yeah it's a very nice store. That's the machine that we use, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. The Christmas lights are up. Oh, I can smell. Oh, the falafel smells Ooh, so good. Falafel. Oh, it's not too busy today. Yeah, because um, it's Monday. Oh, it's a random Monday on. Yeah. It's like four o'clock, <laughs> five o'clock. Do you know what I'm this? Like a tourist. You know what this reminds me of? Walking what? in Central. What? Vlogmas. Yeah. I it does feel like Vlogmas because yeah, we don't really walk for a second. We never walk. We yeah. never walk in the We just take five away. You're quite getting quite brave to you, probably. Yeah. yeah. But Lots of people can pass. Yeah, I don't care anymore. <laughs> West side. West side. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. why I don't vlog in public. Ooh. This 
definitely reminds me of Vlogmas. Did we go Chinatown in Vlogmas? I think Vlogmas? because Vlogmas is the only time we actually walk in London. Yeah. <laughs> and don't just go drive to places. I'm oh, I, re I really like this restaurant. Yeah, we come here food. So much to choose from. What's the dirty chai? Coffee drink. Oh, it's coffee. I okay. hope. Maybe not then. <laughs> We've got the warm one because it's quite cold outside. It's not cold, but we just felt like we drove with pudding and tapioca. Very nice. And then what's the sugar level? Or is it How is it true? I love it. It's good. good. Especially because it's warm. Yeah. And it was like the perfect temperature of warmness. Yeah. Not, not boiling. You can actually down it. Yeah. And we we shared one because we, d we don't want to get full filled up for dinner. London is just... I do love London. I think I'll always miss London if we ever move out of London. What are we doing, Landry? Okay, so we're getting ready for the event. My makeup is done, but I just need to touch up on like my hair and then my makeup bit so you guys can just come with me this is like my third day hair i don't know how this has happened like it's just twisted the other way so i need to straighten it i'm using the ghd platinum plus it's very dirty because <laughs> it's my most used straighteners these are really good straighteners i have a backup just in case because they're the best straighteners so i just need to put this back into place this is like a get ready with vogue get ready with nuri edition oh look at that one swipe that's very good it's so hot though sometimes it burns my face <laughs> just want it to be really sleek and then i'm gonna wash it tonight because it does need a wash okay to touch up my makeup i'm just gonna brush my brows back and then basically what i do is i spray my face with some not setting spray like a hydrating spray i actually feel like this is like a vogue get rid of me let's Vogue, get ready with for a night out. <laughs> this is the Dr. Barbara Stern Hydrating Face Mist. So I'm going to spray some of this on my face. So Focus. Oh, actually, no. Before I spray that, what I like to do is just I'm going to powder my face because it has got a bit oily throughout the day. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent, trans, translucent, powder, translucent Powder with the powder puff. And I'm just going to basically set my face. Not set, I'm gonna powder it because it has got Suck your teaser. I think I need it. Should we try it on you? But yeah. I think the colour might change. Let's see, wait. <laughs> I'm very oily right now. It just keeps your face. It looks flawless, this powder. It's, been, it's with the powder puff. The powder puff is what makes it look flawless. This powder puff is a game changer. I only recently started using powder puff and it makes such a difference to your makeup. Then after I do the powder puff, I'm going to spray with the mist. The lighting in this bathroom is so nice. Next time we have a campaign trip, we should come here. Mm. It's really nice. Okay, spray my face with that. And then I'm going to line up my lips and then reapply my lipstick. So my lipstick is actually a mix of MAC Ruby Woo and the Louboutin lipstick that they gifted me when oh i think i left that one at home oh no but i know but i have my um this is don't the, show my makeup bag it's that's the travel makeup this is so good i've spoken about it in a previous vlog okay i'm just gonna line my lips a little bit with the mac chestnut and then i'm gonna put the lipstick on this is your retouching makeup look mm-hmm nice and then maybe just with the excess blush, just this is it. And then I'm gonna moisturize my legs and my body because there's nothing worse than having dry skin. And let me show you the moisturizer I've been using. This is the U Beauty Super Body Hydrator. Now this is a really good body cream and it gives you that glow, but it is very expensive. I think this is like 80 pounds or more. And as much as it's good, this was gifted to me, which is why I use it. But I thought like for me personally, I can't justify spending 80 pounds on body cream. So as much as I love this, this is what I'm using because I have it and I want to use it. But when this runs out, I'm going to be purchasing my OG body cream, which is a Nivea 48 hour moisture. I'm going to put a picture here. It is the body cream I've been using for years and years. I use this along with the Beauty Pie hydrating body cream. I'll put a picture of that. The Nivea and the Beauty Pie body creams are 
give me the same kind of results and effect as this so I would highly recommend both these body creams Nivea I've been using for like so many years and then the Beauty Pie I've been using like from the start of this year but they're two body creams that I will repurchase um, but for now obviously because I have this I'm just going to apply this to my legs but it does give a really nice sheen to it True doesn't like it because he says it doesn't blend that well. Yeah, it's very difficult to blend. Sometimes when I get him to cream my legs, he says that it's not his favourite <laughs> to blend. And that is kind of my routine for like an evening. If I'm going out and I have my makeup ready, I just touch it on my makeup, touch on my hair. I always moisturise because I think that is the key to looking great is having a moisturised body. So never skip on the moisturiser. And I'm going to put my dress on and my heels and I'm ready to go. Let me show you the heels I'm going to wear. Okay, so these are the heels I'm wearing with my dress. And guys, Louise Veroma have 40% off Rene Selected Styles because I searched it up ASAP as soon as I knew I had a discount code. And they have some heels. Thank you, sure enough, I am holding it. They have some heels from Rene that you can use my discount code on. But how stunning are these? I'm going to wear this with my black dress. I think these are like one of my favourite heels because they go with a lot of things. Sparkle. It looks really good against my black t-shirt. No, but it was sparkling. Look, stand where you were. I need to stand on top of the light. No, true. Come on. Look. True, you can't. I can't. It's charging. Oh, wow. Wait. Carry on doing that. This is, this is Cinderella's slipper. And the back of it as well. There's it's spir um, spirals down the hill. Yeah, I love them. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing this. Um, Black Uniqlo oversized t-shirt, Uniqlo trousers. These are from All Same, and then in the short shorts, my color jacket. Put it on. Um, for like an evening look. This is basically my only evening look. Above, <laughs> because <laughs> otherwise it's a suit or this. No, because like this alone, I look like a waiter or something. So I work there, and then with a color jacket, it just looks like I'm ready for night. I think you need to get more evening looks through. I think you need to buy me some more. Why do I need to buy you more? Why can't you get it yourself? I can help you, but yeah, I think you do need some more evening outfits. Hello, we're about to leave now. Change of shoes. Yeah, I decided to wear these shoes because I don't know if we're going to be standing for a long time and as much as I love my Renes, they are uncomfortable. So I think this is a safe option because it's quite a long evening. So I've got my leaves on, but I do love, I prefer the look with the Renes, but I don't know if it's a sit-down dinner, like, so. <laughs> I think it should be sit-down. No, it's a sit-down dinner, but there's also drinks in the event, oh. and it's like the space is in. I think there's going to be quite a bit of standing, so... Okay, you don't want to risk it? Don't okay. want to risk it. <laughs> okay, we're going to go get a taxi now. Yeah, it's only a five-minute walk, but I don't want to walk five minutes in this dress and these hills. But, yeah. These stairs are so cool. I love when you press it, and then one of them just... The door opens like magic. Which one do you think? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to stand back so you can see. I think it's this one. That's so cool. Oh, always forget to press the button. <laughs> That was a short taxi that was like 10 pounds. Yeah, cabs are expensive. No, the black taxis. Yeah. Brand ambassador George Clooney. But before, 
I feel the same. Coffee? What else? <laughs> Hello. My eyes are you, you stole my jacket. True, you should be a gentleman and shouldn't offer it to me. <laughs> I had to ask for his jacket. How was the event? How did you find it? It was good. It was. So basically, it was. The campaign with George Clooney? Yeah, the campaign that with George Clooney. That was a surprise. That was a surprise. But they've, they've been partners for 15 years, but I think they haven't done a campaign in a while with him, maybe. Yeah, maybe it was, it was like, like an ad. a surprise that George came back it's or called. something. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're heading yeah, back to the hotel now. We're heading back to the hotel, and look, it's just there. Cafe Royale. We actually got a taxi to the hotel. Yeah. Guys, which was like a 10, it was a 10 pound taxi for a two minute walk. It literally is a two minute walk. Yeah, the taxi had to, the taxi had to like, <laughs> What was I saying? Don't I even forgot, drink alcohol. I forgot what I said. No, the taxi had to drive like basically around. That's why it cost like 10 pounds. Um, Can you show you this bit now that it's empty? Look. Well, they turn the lights off as well. It's like the Eiffel Tower, they turn it off at midnight. Yeah. They don't waste electricity because there's no one going to see it's it. It's not over midnight though. But you know, that's weird because last year it used to be on. I'm yeah. knackered. Absolutely knackered, clean knackered. I think we were both really tired at the event because um, we were up really early this morning to go to the gym. gym. Yeah. And um, we haven't been in a while. And obviously when you go to and you work out, it's even more tiring. <laughs> Yeah, so we're, we're, so we're, we're both delusional. Okay, I think we're gonna end it here. Okay, quickly, we'll speak to you guys tomorrow. So we're back in the hotel room and I'm feeling very productive. I'm really tired but I thought I'd do a quick unsponsored nighttime skincare routine. These are literally like just products that I pack really quickly. I'm gonna show you how I get unready for the night. So I don't even normally do this because normally after a night out I'm super tired but I just thought I feel like I'm in a chatty mood. I feel like sharing things with you guys. So first of all, I'm taking my contacts out. This might be a bit gruesome for some people. Okay, contacts are out. I wear disposables, which is good because I can just be really rough with them when I take it out. And then, oh, I'm really bad at this, aren't I? By the way, I can't see the camera now. Now I've taken out my um, contact lenses. I can't even see if this is in focus because it just looks blurry. <laughs> this is what I'm using to take my makeup off. The Super Facial is a Vitamin C Brighton Cleansing Oil. This is something that I've been using for years and I like to mix and like rotate my um, cleansing oils. And you just basically blend it into your face. I have so many cleansing bars and cleansing oils. I recently just finished using the Tatcha Cleansing Oil. That one is really, really nice. Today's one was the Super Facialist. Just want to massage it out of your face. My eyes are so itchy. It's so good. It actually takes it off. Well, all I feel like all oil cleansers do this. Wow, I'm really getting. It's because I can't see. Okay. Okay. Once you've done that, get your face halo. These are the best things ever. Basically, a face halo is supposed to work with just water, I'm supposed to take your makeup off, but I like to do my oil cleanser and then use this to take it off, but it's really good, it takes your makeup off and you just put it in the wash to clean it. So I'm gonna wet that. Oh, 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 why are you not wearing your sleeping what? robe? Because I don't wanna get it dirty, I'm gonna put it off. You're not on task. Right, then you just wipe off all that oil. Like so. They are, they gave, <laughs> we have women's pajamas. They yeah. are for women, aren't they? They are. Yeah, because look at that low V. The I'm buttons dead. are in a weird way. The weird opposite Oh, the opposite, way. yeah, it's women's. It's women's, but thank goodness for us anyways. <laughs> still grateful. I'm still gonna wear it. I love it. Okay, once I've done my face halo, I do a face wash, because we love a double cleanse. And the face wash I'm using today 
is it i can't even see if it's on focus it is the kills calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash this is a good face wash because this is again something that i've been using for so many years it's a good face wash for when like your skin is giving you problems and you just need something that you know is not going to do anything to your skin like just a cleanser that you can go to you know you're that go-to cleanser that you just know it's safe like it's not going to cause any irritation to your skin and it also really does feel deep cleansing foam it up a bit more and rinse it off okay i'm gonna quickly pat my face dry <laughs> i look so funny with earrings on when i don't have makeup on Okay, so for skincare now, I'm patted my face dry. I'm going in with this. This is a classic that most of you guys probably already use. It's the Essay Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I'm 26 now, so anti-aging starts at 25. But yeah, I actually use this morning and night. And it is a serum. It, it, even though it's called Advanced Night Repair, it's something you can use both morning and night. It's actually running low. This has actually got like, I think 14 serums in one and it's 40 years old like this has been around for 40 years so it's a good product oh look at my contact lens stuck stuck at the bottom of it and then i go in with the eye cream so it's the estee lauder really can't see anything um advanced night repair i like this one because it's like a gel it's like a gel consistency just put that on oh i think i put too much on and then while that sinks in, moisturize your lips before you put face cream on. This is Aquaphor, which is the best thing you will ever get for your lips. I kind of don't want to share this because I don't want you guys to know and then let it never be available for me because anyone who tries this gets converted. It's like six pounds from Boots and it's the best thing you'll ever get for your lips. Like I've never used any other lip balm for my lips since getting this and then oh battery's running low tatcha night cream <sighs> love this it's a perfect day and night cream it really is like that dewy glowy moisturizing it has a fancy tool at the top but i'm too lazy to use that i just go straight in with my fingers but it is nice to use that gold thing that it comes with I'm rushing now because it's going to end any time. If it ends suddenly, guys, I'm sorry, but this is essentially my skincare routine done. And then I'm going to do Revital Lash for my lashes. That's how I get long lashes with this Revital Lash. Also, this is the same, I don't know when it expires, but this is the same Revital Lash that I spoke to you guys about, I feel like, earlier on in the year. It doesn't run out, so it's an expensive product. I think it's like £110, but it's still, there's so much product in here that I haven't had to go get a new one. And it actually does work on my lashes. Um, so you basically put this on your lash line. I have to look in the mirror to do this, but it's like a little pen, little pen, brush, and you just put it on your lash line. So I'm gonna do it now, as if you're applying eyeliner. And it actually does work. Oh, I've got cream on my nose. Okay. That is my really quick and simple skincare routine, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll link all these things down below. Please don't sell out my aqua for though. I bet now I'm saying that it won't be available. Right, I'm going to take these earrings off because as much as I love them, I just think they look really weird when you you haven't got makeup on. I find myself, I feel like I look a bit, <gasps> just dropped them, okay. It's raining right now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh no, that looks so bad. We don't have an umbrella. Umbrella. It's so gloomy. 
So guys, we are going to end the vlog here. We're actually gonna start a new vlog. So we're ending this vlog here and then we're gonna begin our new vlog. We're going to do some shopping, yep. some luxury shopping, which is good actually if you need some Christmas gift ideas. We're gonna go and have a look and see what there is. On my list right now, I have some Prada loafers. You know the ones I keep talking oh, about that I want? Ah. Oh. Nice. Okay, but that's gonna be the next vlog. So we hope you enjoyed this vlog, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.